Hi everyone, Kim here. Welcome to my channel, Glitter and Sparkle by Kim, where you'll find all things beauty and more. Today, I thought I would do a makeup look using all cream and liquid makeup. So most of this is gonna be cream and liquid makeup. So with that said, we'll get started. I've already put on my moisturizer on my face. So now I'm just going to put on my um, primer, my face primer. And this is called Vitamin Boost. This is Ciate Vitamin Boost Plumping Primer. I don't use it very often, so I thought I would try this today. So I'm gonna squirt a little bit of that on my hand there. Just put this all over my face. Spread it all around and I'm going to take my rings off because I don't want this primer or foundation to get in my jewelry. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off. Just rub this in all over your face. Okay. And today, for the foundation, I'm going to be using the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. And this is in shade 213, I believe. Let me get my glasses to make sure. And it says, yeah, it says 213. This has 5% squalene and hyaluronic acid in it as well. And it's kind of a, I think this is like a beige Kind of color um, but it is number 213 so that's what I'm going to be using today I'm just gonna dot this all around my face and I just did one and a half pumps BK Beauty foundation brush I'm just gonna pat that in in smoothly okay and once that's done I'm going to take my sponge here and I'm going to wet it I'm just going to dry it off a little bit and I'm just going to take this and pounce it around my face. And this just takes off any excess foundation around my nose and my mouth, my eyes. So just a little bit of that. I just think it makes it look a lot smoother. It just gives it a more... Um, sheer smoother look I think okay and the next thing we're going to do is contouring and with contouring I'm going to use the natural face multifunction stick and this is in 04 mocha so just going to take this at the top of my cheeks and bring it about down to the outside corner of my eye on both sides and I'm going to take a little bit and put it on my forehead I'm going to put this right along my jawline where I have that chubbiness to disguise. And then I'm going to bring a little bit down the front here to try to help disguise that little waddle I have there. And it is a waddle. Take my blending brush. And this is my e.l.f. blending brush. And just blend this in and of course we want to bring this up because you don't want it to go down if you're over 50 you like to keep things going up because naturally gravity gravity brings everything down 
And I don't know about you, but I don't need anything else to go down. So I just kind of move this up. And you want to blend it, but you don't want to blend it away. And then I'm going to blend this in my hairline up here and give my forehead a little bit of color here. And my hair, I'm, it's so warm in here. It's warm today and it's so warm in here I'm sweating. And I do have the fan on me. I don't know if you can hear that. But I do have it on me to try to keep me, try to keep myself cool. Okay, then we're gonna blend this in on our jawline. Let's blend that in really well. And I do all of my own editing. Of course, I do everything from start to finish, uh, you know, recording my videos, uh, taping my videos. Then I, of course, edit them myself. I do all the editing myself. And so with that said, I'm going to try to do very little editing this time. Because I just don't... I'm spending too much time doing editing, and I just need to not do that anymore. Okay, so now we have our contour on, so now we're going to go with blush. And let's see, with blush, I have the pop fill today. And these have a bunch of colors in them you can use for lipstick or blush. So I'm just going to take this... Um, one color right here and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks and I'm not going to put a whole lot because a little bit goes a long way and today if I can get it out and I'm just going to blend this a little bit more. Blend that in together. And today I'm going to use the Lake Rain, Lake Rain Beauty. And this is the highlighter. And this, I think, is compared to, um, I believe it's Rare Beauty. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the very tops of my cheeks. Same over here on this side, which is the very top. And my hair is just getting into everything. Down on top of my cheeks there. And then I'm going to bring it down my nose. The tip of my nose, a little bit my forehead. Cupid's bow and chin. That's better. I put me a little headband on to keep my hair out of my face. So now we're just going to tap this in, this highlighter. And then one thing I forgot to do that I want to do is I'm going to take some of this contour put it on my finger. I'm going to rub my fingers together. And I'm just going to bring that down the sides of my nose. Contour my nose, and I'm going to take my blending brush. I'm just going to kind of blend that down. Eyebrows, yay! You know how I feel about eyebrows. So we're going to start with this first, and this is the Elf Ultra Precise Eyebrow Pencil. I'm just going to brush those into place. 
push my brows into place, what little I have. Okay. And you guys know I'm not big on eyebrows. I've thought about getting, um, I don't know what it's called, where you get your eyebrows tattooed on, microblading. That's something I've considered. Of course, I have to get a job first. Since I was laid off, I haven't been working, and I've been trying hard to get my channel monetized. But anyway, back to what we were doing. Now I've done my eyebrows. So next we're going to do curl our eyelashes. And I move stuff around during the during the pause because that's why I'm out of breath. Whew. My camera, it's my new Sony ZV-1F camera. The battery on that thing is terrible. I mean, it's horrible. It doesn't last 20 minutes. And so I can't really record anything on it because it just lasts 20 minutes. And of course it died on me during the video. So now I'm back on my phone again. So, so we'll see if we can get this video recorded. Okay, so let's curl our eyelashes. And I'm not doing a heavy look today. I'm just kind of doing a, not a super light look, but not a heavy look either. So I'm going to also use my, um, can't find my Big Bad Lash mascara. So we'll just go over here and use the Essence Lash, Lash Princess. I'm going to get me some new mascara to try. And I'll just put this on as my second layer because this helps also lengthen and thicken them. I have to figure out what I do with my big bad lash. Next thing I'm going to do is put on my Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. I do have pharmacy eyeshadow primer. I might use it. Let me try the pharmacy. I'm just try this pharmacy eye primer today. Just a little bit. So I hope everybody's having a great day today. I've just done some work online and had to run a few errands today, but other than that, my day hasn't been that busy. I did write a new ebook, a new digital ebook on self-care, a guidebook to self-care, and if you're interested in 
the guidebook to self-care it's I have a link down below to my digital store where you can find all of my digital products and I also have a free uh, digital book ebook that's free and you can just follow the link that's down below and it'll take you to my website and you can actually download it there just sign up for my email list and download it for free I'm just gonna put on my cream eyeshadow today so I'm just gonna kind of put this under my eye like that too far. It's kind of hard because I have hooded eyes and the skin comes down on the corner there. So it makes it really hard. So this is the eyeshadow palette that I'm using. My favorite Revlon cream eyeshadows. And I'm using this one here on the end. And I'm just going to put that this is just not working here. Let me put it down further. That actually just doesn't work at all. So I'm taking that off with my hooded eyes. I just can't do it. Oh, the perils of having hooded eyes and all this loose skin. Side. just so I can get it straight it does help though it helps keep I guess you can see it keeps the lines nice and straight And then I'm going to take this purplish pink color here. I'm going to want to put it on the inside over my movable eye and just kind of blend it in. Same with the other eye. Let's blend it in. So I have the lighter on the inside and the darker on the outside. Just gonna take my tissue and rub up the side of there. I need to bring this up a little more over here. That's better. I think it was up a little higher on this side than it was on this side. I have so much fun doing my eyelids. It's not fun having hooded eyes. I'm still contemplating that surgery. But right now, everything's contemplating because, again, since I'm not working, uh, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can afford to. Uh, 
buy more makeup and do more videos. And... Okay. So next we're going to do that's everything with our eyes. And then also I forgot to put on my wild brow. And this is the e.l.f. wild brow. So I'm going to do that real quick. thing we want to do is our lips and today I'm using a pharmacy lip liner and this is number 204 and I'm not sure if they still have these liners or not I think they've changed them they're different they may still have the same colors but they're different so now I'm just gonna start right outside my lip because I do have I want to make my lips appear larger because the older you get the thinner your lips get so I just want to apply this right outside And next, I'm going to take my Bellamy lip color. This is AO68. AO68. And again, this is the Bellamy lip color. And this, of course, is the liquid lipstick. I'm just going to fill that in. City Lips Lip Plumper. It's my favorite lip plumper. I wasn't as fond of it at first. I, I liked my I like my So Juicy Color Pop, but I like it just around the house, wearing around the house. But overall, I like the, the color um, the City Lips the best. thing I'm going to do is just put the Catrice eye brightener under my eyes. I don't really have anything for my conceal to use concealer. I, I don't have a lot of dark circles under my eyes. So I don't need concealer. is one little spot I do want to conceal so I'm just going to actually take the um, Double Duty Beauty Tarte Safe Tape Concealer and I'm just going to cover that little place up right there. Okay. 
And now I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm just going to finish blending this out here. And then I'm going to blend that in a little bit right there where I put that. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to put my e.l.f. HD powder. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my face. And I'm just going to take my fluffy brush. And I'm especially going to put some of this under my eyes. And then the last thing I'm going to do is take my setting spray, which is my pharmacy time locker spray. And I'm getting some new setting spray because this is just about out. But I do like this. So that's everything. Not do my tissue. I don't know why my lip on your side. One side looked higher than the other, so I had to fix that. Okay. So there we have the finished look. And the earrings I'll be talking about in my other video. I got these from Timu. And of course this beautiful necklace here. Um, came from Kay's Jewelers and my husband actually bought me this this necklace here isn't that pretty but it came from Kay's Jewelers okay so that's everything and that's the final look Okay, well thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this video and were able to get some value out of it or entertainment. Either one works fine, so I hope you enjoyed it. But thank you again for watching and I hope to see you soon. Yeah. <laughs>